When there are several responses in an experiment, the optimal operating condition for each response is usually at a different combination of the experimental factors. To achieve a balance between competing responses, Stack Graphics uses a concept called desirability functions. The desirability of a response is a metric that's measured on a scale of 0 to 1, with 1 being the most desirable. When we have multiple responses, we take a combination of the experimental factors, evaluate the desirability of each response at that combination, and multiply it, those individual desirabilities together to get one overall desirability measure. The DOE wizard makes the optimization of multiple responses much easier than it was in previous versions. In fact, all I need to do is go to the wizard toolbar and press the button labeled Step 9. And just like that, Stack Graphics has taken the desirability metrics that we defined when we first defined the responses and found an optimal setting within the experimental region that maximizes the overall desirability. To see the results, I can just press OK, then go to the main wizard's window and scroll down. You'll see under step 9 it will show you the optimum that it's found. In this case, it's achieved an overall desirability of approximately 70%, 0.7. Achieving a mean strength of approximately 247, which is pretty close to the target of 250, and a standard deviation of 3.01. The combination of the factors that gives this is shown below the overall desirability, it turns out that the optimal set of conditions is a temperature of 140 degrees, running for a time of 6 minutes, a pressure of 175 psi using material B. You'll notice that we haven't hit exactly the target of 250 for the mean. That's because there's a bit of a trade-off going on here, allowing a slightly lesser mean in order to get a very small standard deviation. We can show the desirability throughout the experimental region by going back and pushing that step 6 button again on the wizard toolbar. Down at the bottom you'll see two options, desirability plot and overlaid contour plots that will show you the desirability. In this case I'm going to choose the desirability plot and I've had it create here something called a 3D mesh plot. A mesh plot evaluates the desirability of the response variables, in this case both the mean and the standard deviation, and displays it with respect to three factors at a time. In this case, the factors that define the region are the three continuous factors, temperature, time, and pressure. The other factors, in this case material, are held constant. This is the optimal material, material B. Now at various points on a mesh throughout this three-dimensional space, a little square has been drawn, and the color of the square represents the desirability. Very poor locations are dark blue. A perfect location would be very red. In fact, highest desirability in this case is in the back left upper corner where the points are getting somewhat yellow as the desirability approaches 0.7.